Pisces, this is your forecast for the month of July 2017. This is a general reading for Pisces Sun, Pisces Rising, or Pisces Moon. If you have a different rising or moon sign, you might find watching those videos helpful or more informative for you. You can watch your reading in three different ways. The full extended monthly, or for just the energy influence, watch the brief or in addition to the brief, watch the weekly for the upcoming week. Weeklies also make it easy for you to review information you may have forgotten in the full reading. Please remember that these are general readings, and so they may not apply to everyone. If you would like a reading that is specific to you, please visit my website at thealchemistastrologer.com and I invite you to follow me on Facebook, Google+, and Instagram. Please also check out my pay-per-view channel, vimeo.com slash on-demand slash finding love for monthly love readings. Now, the second week, there's some kind of struggle going on. Maybe this is an inner struggle. Maybe you're having that inner turmoil about your capabilities or what you deserve. Or maybe you're arguing with other people. Last week, maybe there was a focus on your creativity, your self-expression, something that you were putting out into the world. Or maybe this was about something romantic or a child. But this week, there's a struggle. You're at odds somehow. And it could be that a deep desire to move forward uh, is creating some difficulty or it's propelling you forward. Something unexpected is going to happen for you uh, in your profession or in your home life where you're questioning yourself. We get back to that strength card and our, our doubts, our judgment of self, our confidence. You may be questioning you, your work, your goals, and whether the people around you are actually for you. Now, you may be stepping into a leadership role. You may be taking on the best traits of a Leo, generosity, ambition, uh, leadership, helping others to uh, discover their personal power, their creativity. And so you may go above and beyond. You may take on more responsibility. You may volunteer to do so, even if that wasn't your original plan. Uh, and even if people are irritating you, because this card is about bickering and ego battles and trying to, everybody putting their, their bit in, but nothing really getting resolved. Regardless of how much uh, conflict you're facing or negative attitude, you're still going to maintain, you have control over your lore instincts. And so you're not taking the bait. You're not falling for it. Uh, no matter how much they push, you resist that temptation to overstep bounds. Now, because this, there's a lot of struggle going on, in a situation, somebody is complicating it. They're making a situation more difficult. Uh, and it could be that people are not addressing the core issue of a situation. That one point of contention is used as the prelude to an argument when really it has nothing at all to do with that. It's just an excuse to start an argument because somebody's angry about something else. Because you're having this inner turmoil, for some of you, it's going to be very difficult for you to make up your mind about something. And this struggle with yourself is making it difficult for you to deal with the outside world. Uh, it could be that whatever you're confronting is actually a reflection of the turmoil that's going on inside you. This could be a, a troublesome week where you feel as if every time you take care of one situation, there's another fire to put out. So you're constantly confronting people, situations, problems, challenges. And 
maybe you're taking on more than you should and you're having to pull on your strength to do that. You're struggling to maintain your strength. And in fact, this insistence on dealing with things is actually burning you out because whatever you're dealing with seems to be a no-win situation. And even though you're working hard, you're actually just spinning your wheels. And this gets back to that strength card where there was an issue about whether perhaps you should just start over. Maybe you keep pushing with something and you actually need to start from the beginning. Now, some of you are struggling with your health and vitality. Uh, there's a need to do some healing both inside and outside. So you may very well need that time out to gather your thoughts, to take care of yourself, to nourish your body, your mind and your spirit. So you may need to do some self-love this week.